Working with contractors in ROC can also be a breeze. Contractors such as freelancers can be very valuable to the operations of an agency. There could be multiple freelancers the agency partners with as an extension to their team. Let's look at a few applications of our frameworks to see how ACME effectively manages their contractors. We've already discussed the importance of discoverability and consolidation of information. In this case, we use a combination of two spaces per freelancer to consolidate all communications. This is because it separates the two relevant workflows for freelancers, the admin side of it and the collaborative side. This also helps control access to sensitive information and private discussions with the freelancer on things like budget and contracts, which may not be relevant to the rest of the team. It is also important that these spaces are group spaces, especially the collaborative space so you can add relevant people later on. Although the admin space can be a one-to-one -one space, Especially if you're the only one who will be dealing with that, it does present a challenge in the future if you decide to transfer those responsibilities to someone else. This is because that person can't be added to a one-to-one -one space. One-to-one -one spaces can only be between two people. We recommend that these spaces aren't project specific but freelancer specific so they can be reused for multiple projects. The same concepts discussed above for team collaboration apply here. For example, in the collaborative space, we can use labels to tag projects and tasks by the client so it's easier to find them later. In the admin space, we can manage invoices, contracts, inquire on new projects in the chat, and organize these discussions into topics for later referencing.